Let's go ahead and talk about Jack Dorsey's new Bitcoin mining ASIC. Let's do it. All right. So this was posted an hour ago on Bitcoin Magazine. The title is Jack Dorsey's Block is Hiring to Develop Next Gen Bitcoin Mining ASIC. In a recent job posting by Jack Dorsey's Block, they are looking to hire a team dedicated to launching the next generation of Bitcoin mining ASIC. An ASIC, which is an application-specific integrated circuit, is a microchip that is custom designed for particular uses rather than one intended for general purpose use. In this case, Block is setting out to build an ASIC that is purpose-built solely for Bitcoin mining. In a tweet thread published on October 2021, Jack Dorsey outlined some core questions hinting at what Block's future development of a Bitcoin mining system might look like. In his thread, he laid out the following five topics for further expor exploration. Number one, distribution of miners. An important note, not all distributed uh, not all distrib distributed networks are the same. Distributed systems are measured on a spectrum and networks like Bitcoin ha have varying degrees of distribution found within them. For example, a network can be distributed amongst three peers or it can be distributed amongst 100,000 peers. The more peers in the system, the less reliant the network's participants are on any small group of participants to securely settle transactions, as Dorsey stated. Number two, increased mining efficiency. Dorsey states that, quote, driving towards clean and efficient energy use is a great way or is great for Bitcoin's economics, impact and scalability, end quote. This is something that has been a core part of Block's stance since April of 2021 when they co-published uh, when they co-published a white paper with Ark Invest entitled quote Bitcoin is key to an abundant clean energy future end quote. In their research they explain how Bitcoin offers a unique opportunity for the energy industry by acting as an energy buyer of last resort. Setting a global price floor for energy allows us to build out more robust clean energy infrastructure with the assurance that any excess energy harnessed in off-peak hours will still have a buyer. And that's actually a really interesting point because you have like energy waste, et cetera, but you know, you can push those off and Bitcoin mining is 24 seven. It makes sense. It does make sense. The state of silicon production. Number three, silicon design is a highly expensive long-term capital investment, which creates a high barrier to entry for the industry. Having a small, highly concentrated set of suppliers means limited production and constraints on supply. In his tweet, Dorsey states that he believes combining the silicon design process would be best if coupled closely with software and system design. End quote. Vertical integration, number four, Dorsey believes that not enough companies are focusing on vertical integration. Vertical integration is where multiple stages of the supply chain production process are integrated and wholly owned by a single company. This, this all-inclusive process removes the reliance on external production factors that could create constraints constraints and uncertainty in the overall production process. Now, this is a this is actually a really important point because what it's coming down to is basically talking about how you have like AMD and Nvidia needing the the manufacturing to be done by like TSMC for their core and then of course like Samsung or Micron or Hynix or someone along those lines for the memory. This does, you know, make sense. I think also to the point of the state of the silicon production, one thing that could be interesting is starting a silicon company uh, with Bitcoin mining and then being able to use that profit into building, uh, you know, silicon for other applications or general purpose applications, which is kind of the business strategy I would probably go with, you know, if I ever had the kind of capital to do anything would be, you know, pick a, an application, a, a application specific integrated circuit, 
use that to build up the silicon manufacturing process that I'm going to have and then bleed that out later into general purpose once you've actually had something that's generating revenue for a very specific purpose. Now, this actually is a great lesson for almost anything you do in life. Just a quick note here, but something like starting a YouTube channel, for example, the more narrowed down you can get that topic in the beginning and the more of an audience you will be wanting to come to your channel because you're the only one with that specific information. This could also go with, you know, a business. If you're starting a business, take it down to the, you know, base, base, base level of like what you want to do and find a niche and then serve that niche really well and then start to grow that niche out, right? Then you can start, right? For example, this channel starting with mining and then growing into more of like some NFT stuff or whatever it may be, right? It's, it's that idea of being really successful in a niche and then using that to grow into other things. And I think that that from the silicon production point of view would kind of make sense with asics just in general i think it, that could be a pretty good business plan there so finally five mining accessibility while the popularity of building home mining setups has certainly been on the rise throughout the last year bitcoin asics still have a long way to go before they can be considered simple plug and play tech Dorsey states that we need more incentive to overcome the complexity of Bitcoin mining in order to make it accessible. Hopefully one day mining Bitcoin at home will be as simple as plugging in your toaster. I feel like it kind of already is, but we'll kind of, we'll talk about this. In the future, engineers may build more solutions for upcycling the heat from home mining systems and integrate it directly with existing home utilities like HVAC or water systems. So this is a big one. And, you know, there have been like the guys that have, you know, showed how they heat their house with, with Bitcoin miners, et cetera. But in integrating the heat generation from Bitcoin mining to power other uh, utilities within your house is going to be something that is, you know, I think super beneficial to everybody. And then if you compound that with like installing solar on your house, et cetera, you could have really, really good distribution of Bitcoin mining where everybody is participating and we kind of get away from these big farms and we move back into more decentralization. Now, as a miner, obviously, when we look at these things, we're always thinking about buying more rigs and, you know, more GPUs or more ASICs and then building that up and then trying to like, have our own farm, that sort of thing. I understand that. That's literally what this channel talks about all the time. That being said, if we're talking from an idealistic standpoint of like what Bitcoin's supposed to solve in a principled standpoint, and then we take a look at like what the original white paper had us talking about as far as, uh, you know, one CPU, one vote. Really, the idea of integrating Bitcoin mining into your utilities at, a, at, at each individual house where you, all, you get some sort of financial benefit and it distributes further across everybody. That's where we need to move to for like Web 3.0 to be fully realized, full on decentralization, that sort of thing. That's going to be a lot more important, in my humble opinion, for the future of cryptocurrency than even like where we sit right now with it, right? Whether or not we, you know, move to, well, proof of work, right? Like, or proof of stake. So I don't think... I would actually argue that moving this direction is more decentralized, obviously, than moving to, than even current proof of work state and much better than moving towards proof of stake. And um, I think like as a miner, I realized that that will like potentially like reduce my ability to perform within the 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 ecosystem or perform well and keep it as like a main like main job deal sort of thing, right? Business. Unless of course you can figure out how to like integrate into these realms, right? And I, I find that that concept super intriguing and I'm I back it a hundred percent um personally because that's what I would like to see crypto do. Personally. 
I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.